boxing has had one of his worst nights in recent memory. First, it was KSI versus Joe Fournier. This influencer boxing is surely getting out of hand, and sooner rather than later, people are going to lose interest. One would glance at that fight, and people would realize that both these guys are not proper boxer. KSI is a YouTuber who is learning how to box, and he is learning on the job and fighting fellow influencers who are worse than him. Joe Fournier is just that guy. He isn't a boxer. When he fought an exhibition with David Hay, it was pretty apparent then. And for KSI to get in the ring with a 40-year-old guy and then elbow him before finally knocking him out was outright embarrassing. That elbow enough should have resulted in a no contest. After a performance like that, one wonders whether KSI's stock went high or low. After the fight, he squared off against Tommy Fury. The size difference between the two of them was the first thing that everyone should notice. Tommy Fury handed Jake Paul his first professional defeat few months back. Kesa is worse than Jake Paul. And conventional wisdom would suggest that he gets beaten worse than Jake Paul did. Tommy isn't a great boxer by any stretch of imagination. But the guys in front of him are even worse. They are misfits, if one may say so. By fighting these misfits, Tommy is earning more money than legitimate boxers do. That's the sad state of boxing right now. From one debacle to another, Roly Romero faced Ismail Barroso for the vacant WBA title. And the world saw one of the worst stoppages in boxing history by an experienced referee in Tony Weeks. It was so bad that even the commentators expressed their disgust on air. Roly, who was beaten by Tank, was facing another southpaw in Barroso. In the third round, Barroso knocked him down with a straight left in the same manner as Gervonta Tank Davis did. Now, if a 40-year-old fighter who is way past his prime is doing that to you, then you aren't progressing for sure. Rollis team should have serious considerations. Then in the ninth round, Rollie hit Barroso with some good punches and knocked him down. It was more a push than a knockdown, but it was given as a knockdown. What followed was shocking. Rollie tried to finish the fight, but hardly landed any proper punches. In fact, it was Barroso who landed the clear punches. But the ref stepped in and stopped the fight, much to the disgust of the fans and everyone watching. Rolly was virtually gripped a decision. Boxing would once again come under huge criticism after a decision like that. That referee should never be allowed to officiate any more matches. He should face investigation for fighters who put their life on the line to be robbed of the glory by inept officials is an absolute travesty. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe to this channel.